It is time to make some tavern sandwiches. I am tired, my kids are hungry, and I need a quick fix meal that comes right out of the pantry and refrigerator. So, I'm making tavern sandwiches. Stay tuned to watch how I make it. Um, also known as loose meat sandwiches. If you live in Iowa or the Midwest, you know what I'm talking about. These are good, simple, and filling dinner for your family. Stay tuned. First thing you want to do is take two pounds of hamburger. You can split this recipe in half and only do a, a pound of hamburger if you have a small family. Um, I probably should be doing a pound instead of two pounds, but I defrosted two pounds today, so I'm making it all. I'm having a company tomorrow, so it should work out. I'll just, you know, make it as a leftover option if they don't like what I make for dinner. So all I'm doing is, uh, just like with any hamburger meat, I'm going to brown it in this pot, get it all nice and cooked and crumbly. I am using my potato masher. Something about cooking ground beef with some kind of masher just makes it better. It makes it all crinkly and small pieces when it's all when it's all cooked up. So it's something I recommend if you're doing tacos or something like tavern sandwiches, loose meat sandwiches, whatever. I recommend this tool right here. Or one like Pamper Chef Tab is one that is actually probably easier to use. I just don't happen to have one. That is a hamburger masher. It's actually called a hamburger masher. Go figure. So, that's an option. You won't believe how easy this recipe is and how much my kids love it. So, I'm going to ground this up. I'll be right back. Once it's all ground up, I'll show you what else to do. Ground beef is cooking up real nicely. So at this time I'm going to add a half a cup of water to it. This is just going to make it um, cook a little bit easier, even though it's almost done. And help me break up the ground beef into really small, fine pieces. Along with my masher. Did you see me flip all that meat everywhere? Yeah, that's a Linda thing. I do that often. Probably should be more careful. So this is almost done. Next thing I'm going to do is add two tablespoons of yellow mustard. One teaspoon of sugar. Where's my sugar bowl? I had it like two seconds ago. Oh, I didn't find my bowls. One teaspoon of sugar. Salt and pepper. And a little shake of onion powder. If I had to guess, that's probably a quarter teaspoon of onion powder. The only reason I put the onion powder in is because uh, this recipe calls for onions. My family will not eat real onions. So if I want the seasoning, I have to use the onion powder. Looks like I need to get a new one because this one uh, throws up together. For some strange reason. So I'm just going to let this cook. There's a lot of liquid in this right now. I'm going to turn it down a little bit and just let it simmer until all the water or most of the water evaporates. And then I'll be back to show you more. So there you have it, folks. Easy peasy. That's it. The one thing I did do that I didn't show in the video, um, I tasted it. And it needed another teaspoon of sugar and a little more salt. Now it tastes per perfect. I don't know what I'm... I must have written down the recipe wrong. 
um, when I was making it the first time. So traditionally, this sandwich is served on a hamburger bun with mustard and pickles. If you go to Made Right Restaurant in Iowa, that's how they serve it. But tonight, I will be serving it on a hamburger bun with probably mayonnaise and ketchup for my kids. I will show you the end product when I make dinner for them. My youngest son, Brandon, and I'm making him a plate. And uh, what do you want on your tavern burger, baby? Or your ta tavern sandwich? I just get mayo and ketchup. Just mayo and ketchup? So these are really easy. People in Iowa like to use mustard and pickles for theirs. Well, that's how they serve it. And shake it. Oh, I gotta shake the ketchup. Um, that's how they serve it in the restaurant in Iowa, but Brandon likes mayo and ketchup on his. And seriously, you could do any condiments you want. It's really good. The meat alone is super flavorful. With such few ingredients, you would not, you'd be shocked about how flavorful it is. So, I don't know, can you see that? So all it is is the condiments. And you can even put cheese on it. We don't put cheese on it. The one menu we don't put cheese on. I love cheese on my burgers. And that's it. Way better than a Sloppy Joe. Way easier than a Sloppy Joe. Super fast, yummy meal. I made some air fried french fries to go with this. I have a can of green beans I'll probably make with it. I hope you guys have a good night. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Brandon? Bye.